What is up guys, Devlix here again, welcome back to the second part of our modern Sevastopol siege using the Cold War mod called the Hot Mod 1968 for Gates of Hell and the Scorched Earth DLC. I don't think I've ever squeezed that many titles into one sentence, but um, here we are with part two. If you guys missed part one, be sure to check it out, there's going to be a link to it down below. I believe many of you might have missed it. Uh, it was awesome, I have to say. This part will be... Uh, no less awesome than the first one. Uh, we're going to include the German sector, the Germans here on the right side, the right sector. We're going to follow the middle sector featuring the Americans today. And in the third and final part, we're going to enjoy the, the left sector. And I'm not sure what to do there. I guess we will figure out. Perhaps some of you can drop some comments and... Um, suggestions down below and I'll see to it. It's going to be very action-packed and instead of cutting it off and just, you know, focusing entirely on this as a new battle, I want to add on to it. So in the third part, it's going to be three times the size of the first part. And you can pretty much call this one twice as big as the first one. So everything's going to be going on here on the right side as well. And it's going to be it's going to be very awesome. I think it's going to be incredibly epic. So the Germans will do their thing, but we don't have to focus on it because we got to see it in the first part. And I think that's really good. I might do videos like this in the future because otherwise, if I did everything in one video, in one massive battle like I did with the first Sevastopol video I did a while back that has done really well in terms of views. Thank you, guys. Um, I thought that... Uh, you probably miss out on a lot of action when you have to focus on, on all the different parts at the same time, which is, by the way, impossible. So uh, we are uh, doing the possible, which is to just divide it into some sectors and uh, enjoy today. So guys, uh, without further ado, um, uh, I hope you guys have a good weekend. I hope you guys have a good Christmas if you celebrate it or a good uh, holidays and New Year's overall. I will see you one more time before the New Year's, um, but uh, I'm not sure when, but... Uh, probably next Friday. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for liking and commenting and for a good year together. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this part. And uh, I'll see you guys in the battle, which is uh, now. So I, that sounded like a goodbye. Fucking weird. Anyway, we're going to focus here on this strong, pole, strong point and strong hold. More of a strong point, actually, in the center. They're going to receive some reinforcements here to bolster the defense. And these are ooh, Spetsnaz troops being sent here. Looking very cool. They're going to man the defenses. This is so nice. Cool indeed. Here comes the armor. Rockets! Oh, this is awesome. So, U.S. Army Rangers have been dropped off. They're going to attempt to storm the trenches and clear the uh, the strong point. M55s rolling up. Oh. We have some operators still in this strong point, some Spetsnaz. Oh, I love the sound of that 50 cal. That is heavy sounding. Okay. Supporting APCs are rolling up to um, give cover to the infantry. Grenades are being traded here. This position needs to be crewed. So some uh, troops are going to be sent up to man the guns. Oh! Oh no! Come on, get on the gun! We're gonna have one crew member on it at least. One was just shot in the head. But he's gonna do what he can. 
That M55 Sheridan has him seared in, though. Oh, he's going to be shot dead. Unlucky, guys. Wasn't going to do much anyway. Oh, but it's, you know, it counts. They, they uh, just were a little bit too late. More APCs are rolling up with more infantry. Tavarishi. Now they're going to start uh, engaging the defenses on top of the hill. I, I love these uh, airborne tanks, these M55s. a little uh, quick uh, peek at the the German front here and it's looking the same way it did in the first video. Oh, it is awesome. If you want to see more of this, be sure to check out part one. So, as you all know, every time you hit that start button, it's a new instance of the, uh, the, the scripts. I've seen this position do far better. I've seen them knock out tanks using that gun. In this in this situation, they were just unlucky, unlucky and got uh, got killed before they could before they could put some efficient fire on the uh, the uh, American attackers. Let's head over to the uh, the the Soviet side here. We've unlocked way more of the hill now. We only saw about half of this landing zone. Now we have this entire right side. We have a T-62 rolling up. We have another gun position up here on the uh, the uh, the flat top. Oh. This is a lovely view. That was insane. The uh, the um, demolition tank has been knocked out, but uh, it delivered a massive shell onto the T62 before being knocked out. Oh, this gun is knocking out that next one as well. This is a mean little gun, so definitely what we saw down there could have been way worse for the attackers had this gun been efficiently crewed, but. A little too late to the party. They were never given a chance to get set up. But, um... The Americans do have more firepower down here in terms of the the Sheridans and stuff. Uh, but the infantry is going to be the main force here. The main pushing force. Oh, that is so awesome. tank probably not knocked out i think that's might have been there's a crew member outside i see some german forces move up as well now we're gonna head over here just for a little bit and enjoy some of the german assault as well apc's taking fire as they move up I mean, this is awesome. I can't wait for the the third part. is gonna be so humongous. It's gonna turn this battle into like one of the biggest creations I've ever done. Oh, yeah, the Soviet AT guns are keeping the American armor at bay now. I am gonna make, I believe, some of the scripts have been a little bit insufficient in terms of um, maneuvering. Uh, I believed it would be enough for them to just make their way up here, but I, I, I say, I say we 
move the armor up, as the Germans have, to our best ability, and enjoy more of the armor moving up. The American infantry now is trying to climb this like it's one to do all. You think that Sheridan can dispose of that gun up there? a lot of uh, 50 cal fire on it now though from several angles that's very nice to see look at that bum, 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 they're medusing the shit out of that hill that is awesome and the american infantry is yeah they're starting to they're trying to find some breach zones here where they can get past the the obstacles there are a few openings. I don't want to miss out on this front entirely though, so... This is still as cool the second time around. Live in five targets. Fire. All right, let's let, let's have a look here. At some of the uh, the Rangers moving up now to try and clear this uh, this top position. That'll be interesting for sure. The vehicles are not going to be able to move much further. Um, it's too steep, I believe. Not too steep, but it'll definitely put them in risk of of enemy uh, RPGs and, um, and whatnot. So let's see the Rangers clear this out. Oh, they're using uh, M203s. Dushka position has been cleared out. There's a few troops here around the bunker area. But, uh, really not much more. They're using grenade launchers now. There's one over here, though. He's, he's kind of hiding. Being very tactical about it. Very calm and collected. Oh, oh that's seven six two. Oh, nice trade there. Okay, we're gonna let them continue doing their thing on that side. We're gonna move back here and watch the German advance. We're starting to get into the, the, the inner perimeter now. Guys, once again, we did not really quite finish the battle in the first part. We're not going to quite finish the battle in the second part. We're going to finish the battle in the third part coming out sometime next week. And we're going to obviously add way more to it. Let me give you a little preview in case you don't know what this beautiful map from the Scorched Earth DLC looks like. 
boom. There's a lot more to enjoy here, and uh, I'm open to suggestions to us what and who and why they will, or not why they'll attack, that's why, but how they'll attack. Maybe some uh, more uh, more airdropped units and whatnot, but uh, I had a blast. Look at the carnage. Let's uh, do a little casualty check already. Let's mark the Soviets in red and the Americans in yellow. That's been not so costly here to start. They really hit them with a the shock and all, but it's been, it's been deadlier getting up that hill. And not to mention the German casualties on this side so far. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and a comment in case you want to see more. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.